Bonjour, Anishinaabe. Welcome to Red Mic Podcast. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Red Mic Podcast. I'm your host, Thomas X. And uh, it's a good day today. Tomorrow's going to be a really good day. Tomorrow, um, me and my second and third grade girls basketball team, we have our holiday tournament in Bemidji. And right now, we are tied for the best record in the league. Our game at 9 a.m. will ge- will be against the other team um, who has the uh, same record as us. So winner of the 9 a.m. game will be crowned the champs of our division. We beat them in the last game, so we're looking to go back to back on them. We're looking good. Team's getting really good. My daughter Ava is having a really good season. She's like in, uh, she likes the sport of basketball. That's cool. Tomorrow is check distribution day for uh, Red Lakers, where you could uh, go physically pick up your check at the um, Red Lake Humanities, Red B Center, Little Rock Center. Uh, actually, I take that back. I think it's just the Humanities Center and then the Panema Boys and Girls Club slash Panema Community Center. I might be wrong. It might be all four districts. I'm pretty sure it's just the Humanities in Panema, though. But, yeah, tomorrow, all the Red Lakers get the cash. Um, go spend that. On some cool Christmas gifts or, you know, some essentials for you, yours, and your family. Also tomorrow night at the Red Lake Seven Clans Casino, uh, legendary native comedian Don Birdstick will be in town. And hosting that event is Red Lake's very own Johnny R., the Ojibwe outlaw. Shout out to Johnny. So every, it's a free show, so everybody head over to the Red Lake Casino tomorrow and go check that out. So um, tonight there was a game. The classic rivalry of Red Lake and Cass Lake. The Red Lake Warriors and the Cass Lake being a Panthers went head-to-head in Cass Lake tonight. And the game went to overtime, actually. And uh, Red Lake came out with the win. And uh, we're about to um, get one of the stars of the Red Lake varsity team on the phone here. Um, We're going to give DJ Holtison a call. Hopefully he picks up and we'll have a quick conversation with the young man. DJ? Yeah. Hey, what's up, bro? What's up? Um, are you able to uh, get your phone a little bit louder right now? Can you talk a little uh, closer to the yeah. speaker or something right now? Coming in a little quiet. Yeah, um, I just took it off speaker. All right, cool. Hey, man, uh, good game tonight. Congrats on the big win. You guys are 2-0 and right now? Yeah. Okay, so... You had the season opener against uh, Kelly and North Home. You guys got a W there. Then went to Cass Lake tonight for the classic rivalry, and you guys uh, fought hard, went into overtime. Um, what are what are some things after you know tonight's game? What are some things you guys could go back and work on to get ready for your next games? Um, we could work on our free throws. We could work on honestly a lot of things because we're kind of a quiet team and we're like really young, so. And I, I honestly think we're a good team that could actually get work on, worked on, and get better in progress over the next few games. Right. And that could really help us a lot. For sure, man. So, uh, um, the one thing I liked about tonight's game was it was getting down to the end of the second half, and it was getting to the point where Cass Lake had the lead, and you guys had to um go to the you know, automatic fall to send them to the free throw line. And usually when you're the team doing that, you know, committing the falls, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's tough to come back from that. You know, they were, there was three points at one time, then it was two points. And then, uh, came to a point where you went to the free throw line down two with under a minute to go. And, uh, you hit some clutch free throws. What was going through your mind walking up to the free throw line before you shot those two free throws? I honestly just wanted to make them. I wanted to actually just um, make them so my team could, uh, so we could start the season off right and get these W's, and then so we could honestly prove people wrong. Yeah, man. I mean, I uh, went head to head with the subsection champs. You know, um, Cass Lake ended our season last year, so for you guys to go there into their home territory and get a win. 
That's uh, it's big. Looking at the the stat line I got here is you had uh, 23 points, 19 rebounds, and three blocks. Those are some uh, uh, good numbers for a big man. So um, I, I think uh, w- would you say you know your off season like during the summer, heading to a lot of tournaments and staying playing. Do you think uh, traveling to tournaments helped you elevate your game this summer? Yeah, most definitely. That really helped my game, like working with all these other coaches that I honestly ha- never knew before. And they take me under their wing and they teach me new stuff every time whenever I go play with them. Right. So um, so you obviously had a big game tonight. Um, who would you uh, also like to give credit to on your team? Who were some uh, key players in tonight's win? I'd like, honestly, to give credit to my whole team. They're, they're like basically always hyping us up and then riley trent riley trent cub and james and dalen they all had a good game also especially little gerald he's he had a good match up there with jerrell jacobs yeah man yeah man i definitely saw it tonight man you guys are um i got some younger players and uh you're only two games into the season, and you could kind of already see you guys uh, clicking a little bit, you know, getting a, a nice flow together. So um, I think that's going to be key for you guys as far as your success goes is um, being able to, you know, um, have a nice flow out there with each other. No, you know, hopefully everybody will figure out what their role is and you guys can work together. So um, appreciate you uh, taking the phone call today. Or tonight, DJ, uh, congrats again on the win, and um, keep working hard, man. All right, thanks, bro. Yep, have a good night. Yeah, you too. All right, that was DJ Holtison, junior um, big man for the Red Lake Ogeechee Dog varsity boys basketball team. And um, he, uh, yeah, he, he played a really good game. Like, um, you know, he was... He did a lot, you know. The the nineteen rebounds is is huge. Three big blocks, you know. The block came in at the end there, where it was like a hustle play. Kasek had a wide open layup, which would have extended the lead at a crucial time, you know, in the final minutes. And he like hustled and out of nowhere went coast to coast and got a big block, stop points from happening. And um, the two free throws to send it in the OT were huge. It was nice to see them, you know, keep fighting at that at the end of the game there, as opposed to, you know, it's, it's looking tough. We got an automatic fall. We're, we're down just less than a minute. You know, they didn't look at it that way. They just kept playing. Um, shout out to the coaches and all the players. So good game tonight for the Red Lake Warriors. Final score, 83 to 77. Big win in Cass Lake in overtime. You can catch the Warriors tomorrow uh, at home against, I believe, Fond du Lac. I'm going to say Fond du Lac. And uh, it'll be a head-to-head game. Yep, Fond du Lac tomorrow. Varsity girls play at 1 o'clock. Varsity boys are to follow that game. So uh, Red Lake, go show out tomorrow. Go check out the game. So big shout-out to the Red Lake boys basketball team on the win tonight. This is Red Mike Podcast. Big witch for tuning in. Yee! Giga Wabaman, Miigwech for tuning in to Red Mike Podcast. Started working on my hops, one day I'll grab the rims, get it. All black Nikes, red leg jersey, Bob War 23, Beach War 30, Res Ball Life, talk trash, play dirty. I was trying to get ill, so I'm in the gym early. It was all a dream. I saw the Warriors in that Slam magazine. With Michael Jordan on the cover, this a way about the